Hey everybody, welcome to my live today. I'm so excited because I have Mr. Rick Gutman with me today and it is our one year anniversary. And mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> so a year ago this week actually, um, I got a message from Rick saying, I would really like to have a conversation with you if you're open to it. And I said, okay, I'm open to having a conversation. And um, I had been following him on social media for a long time. And we had been exchanging messages back and forth about business. And I had told him what had happened in my previous company, how, you know, I had become a six figure earner over there, but then everything started to level out as soon as <clears throat> I quit my job. And so kind of leveled out and then it started to go down a little bit. So I ended up having to go back to work and I pretty much just threw up all over Rick in this conversation and told him about it. And I'm sure he gets that all the time. So um, he probably doesn't remember, but um, I was telling him all of that about how, you know, I was frustrated and I didn't think it was the vehicle that I was in. I thought it was me. And, um, you know, he was just helping me a lot with my business at the time. So then a year ago today, well, actually, it'll be like in a couple of days. Um, he asked me if I wanted to talk about it. And I said, OK, I said, we can have a phone conversation. So I'm going to bring on Rick and wish him a happy anniversary. And then we're going to talk a little bit about this past year. So here is Rick. Hello. Hey. What's Hi. up? How are you? How are you? <laughs> um, all right. So the first question I have um, basically is, uh, you know, well, first, happy anniversary. And um, <laughs> the second <laughs> one is, um, you know, you, you deal with this a lot uh, with people, you know, who have gone through, maybe they've been very, very successful in their previous companies. And, um, you know, they've built six or even seven figures in those companies. And then something happens, you know, something happens with either the compensation structure changes, the company starts to make changes that aren't in favor of the distributor. And, you know, people who are those either mid-level or six and seven figure earners, they start doing the same things over and over again. And I can attest to that because there wasn't anything that I was doing that was different. If anything, I was working harder, but just doing those same things, those same recruiting, those same um, business building strategies that I was taught. And then, you know, I could posture and I could recruit and I had no problem getting people on board. But, you know, like several people who are very successful in this, a lot of times um, their team just doesn't duplicate, right? And there's no retention. So that was what really caught my eye about the conversations I saw you having when you showed up in my news feed back in October of last year. And I just started watching because you were talking about that a lot. So can you expand on that idea of duplication and retention? And what do you think the missing link is for most companies? And what makes us different <coughs> than that? Well, um, when it comes to a lack of retention and things like that, um, I believe that financial education has to wrap around or encompass the uh, system of duplication. A system of duplication in network marketing is not enough. I believe every single person needs to be mentored mm -hmm. because, because you're seeing people step in from most of them are needing to be, uh, they need to unlearn because they've been programmed to be employees their whole life. Yeah. And then they step into business ownership. And then in a business like this, where you have to be very visible and show pe tell people you're in business, they feel it's awkward for them to make phone calls. Mm -hmm. They feel very uncomfortable. And so you need, every person needs personal coaching in that area. And along with that is a willingness to recreate yourself, reinvent yourself. Every company has to reinvent itself every two years. I believe every person um, that wants to become strong in business should recreate and reinvent themselves every two years. And that is scaling what you've been doing 
figuring out what is not working for you and making the necessary changes. Mm-hmm. You know, if people are not listening to you, then you need to build your influence. How are you going to do that? Mm-hmm. Right. If you need to, if you don't have a large enough network, you need to go out and build your network and make it larger. How are you going to do that? Mm-hmm. Right. If you sit down with somebody and you talk to them about the industry and there's a lack of understanding there, you have to fix that. Mm-hmm. If you are dominated by by security, but you really want to step out and owning your own time freedom, how are you going to do that? Right. So so a willingness to recreate or reinvent yourself is very important. So when you see people in not just our industry, every industry come and go that couldn't make it work, most of that is because they didn't, they weren't effective in reinventing themselves, scaling your business. See, business professionals in traditional business will scale their business and and become problem solvers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that requires change. And most people hate change. And I'll be honest with you, the first 10 years of my career, I made millions and millions. However, um, I had to live on the road a lot. 10 days a month, every month for 10 years burned me out. And I had a lack of retention, just like everybody else. My business looked just like everybody else's in this industry with 2 to 10% retention. And then when I came out of retirement and started the business school and then pointed it at network marketing, I was able to solve all the problems that I had in my business before. And today I have the, all of the freedom that I've always wanted, mm-hmm. right? Today I can put my finger on a map anywhere in the world and go, I want to be there tomorrow. And I can just grab my bag and just go. Mm-hmm. And I, and I never had that before, even in network marketing where you have freedom to, you know, wake up when you want do what you want. However, there are so many needs that you have to be here. You have to be there. You have this appointment. I, and, and, um, and, and this is the first time because of the business school that people are really learning and growing and each leader is growing further and further to where they le- need me less, right? Mm-hmm. The best mentors in the world are those that teach people so well that they no longer need them. Right. The business school is doing that for me. And so all that, all those that don't have that, they go from company to company because their retention is is strong in the beginning but then there's no duplication and then they go well this is not working or they'll blame it on the company or blame it on something else and then they leave i know i've been there mm-hmm. i've been there i've experienced that and um again this is the first time in my career where i have zero of those problems very high retention and more and, and producing more leaders than i ever have in my career right? yeah, I mean, we range from 70 to 90 per 94 percent weekly and we've been yeah, on a weekly basis. 23 months. In 23 months. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And know, I my, that... my checks are always the same or better. Always. For mm-hmm. months and months and week after week after week after week. Same or better. Same or better. And it just continues to grow higher and higher and higher. Same or better. Mm-hmm. And do you do, it's difficult to sustain that for almost two years. And it's mm-hmm. have zero problems like that at all. And that's, again, because of the business school. Yeah. I, I definitely agree. I mean, that was one of the things that um, really kind of got me to come on board because even just your public trainings before I was a part of the actual team, your public trainings were helping me. And I want to go into this, be- this because I think that this happens to so many people, especially if they've been successful in network marketing and maybe they've been a six figure earner, seven figure earner. They've been with their previous company for years and years. I had been with mine for four and a half Um, And I know several people who have been with it for the duration, you know, eight, nine years, 10 years in the company, and they built very high six and seven figure incomes. And then, you know, there were some there were some shifts that happened back in 2015 and 16. And a lot of people had a huge dip in their volume and um, they couldn't figure out what they were doing wrong. So they're working harder and harder. And they're rebuilding like me. I was rebuilding that business every <laughs> every couple months because I couldn't get the retention and duplication, you know. So I think people tend to get burnt out, you know, and very spent. 
And with me, I know my confidence was kind of shot a little bit because having to go back to work, I didn't even put it on social media because I didn't want people to think that network marketing doesn't work because it definitely does. I mean, I was able to leave my job, but I wanted, I didn't want, I guess I just didn't want to put that out there until I had found a way to change what was happening, you know? And um, that's why when I started watching you, I started to feel better um, and more because I, you know, like everybody, I think when they're successful at this, they've worked very, very hard. And I think they get to the idea of, could I actually rebuild this again, you know, with a different company if I had to, could I go through that again, right? So to that person, even if they've been very successful in a previous company, um, what would you say to them if they're in a state of exhaustion and why would they want to take a look at this? Cause I know for me being part of the school took so much of the pressure off. I wasn't doing it by myself, you know, and it didn't, I felt motivated to work again, like to really rebuild again. And I felt like I was not just rebuilding, but I was rebuilding in a vehicle that was actually going to take me higher than before. So what do you say to those people who are seeing their businesses maybe go down consistently, you know, um, but maybe they're lacking a little bit of confidence. Maybe they're feeling like, you know, a failure and maybe they're wondering if they could build again. So why should they take a look at this? Well, Overcome Nation fixes duplication with an effective process, mm -hmm. right? So let me give you an example. What's happening in the industry is I can, I can, you teach me and I can duplicate you and teach my person. And then my person can teach me and it gets a little bit more watered down. By the mm -hmm. time it gets to the fourth or fifth level, they're not duplicating exactly what you're doing. And that's the pro that's the problem in our industry. And then as soon as you get to about the fifth generation, the fifth, fifth level, they, um, the only duplication is quitting. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now you take every single recruit, every single person that wants to build a business and you put them all in overcome nation mm -hmm. and there's live teaching three nights a week. And uh, there's over 300 videos in there, never teaching on the same topic, by the right. way, never. And they come in and now you're not exhausted anymore because you're leveraging the business school. Every mm -hmm. single one of them is leveraging the business school. So no one can ever come to you and say, well, I didn't learn anything. And I never had any conversation with Barbara. And, you know, she couldn't, she never taught me anything. I didn't learn anything from her. Well, that's what the business school is for. Nobody could ever say that. Mm -hmm. But you go beyond, you go beyond outside of Overcome Nation, and that's a common problem all through the industry. And I'm not knocking the industry. It brings in seven billion dollars a month in commissions. It pays in pays seven billion a month in commissions. So it's a very powerful, very lucrative industry. Um, and there's no better method of wealth creation on the planet when you have good good mentors. Mm -hmm. But that is a that's that affects the 98 percent in this entire industry. Right. That problem. We don't have that problem. So what happens is you have PTSD from network marketing. You come into you come into Overcome Nation and now you have a tremendous amount of help. Why? Because you are leveraging a system within a system. Mm -hmm. Right. So as Overcome Nation, we are leveraging Baseo as a fulfillment center. Your team is actually lever, le, um, leveraging the system of duplication and information and education in Overcome Nation. And so it's now, not just education. Like I want people to really understand that it's so much more than just this is the system and this is how you do it. It's so much more than that, you know. And OK, so I'm just going to get real. Um, with the time strength, that's like our sixth strength that you've just added. Um, when I decided this time last year, when we had this conversation, I was like, well, I would love to work with you, but I'm committed. I'm in love with my company, blah, blah, blah. You know, I went through the whole thing. And then I started, you know, we're getting near that time of year where everybody starts to reevaluate. <clears throat> <their life. laughs> um, and 
it's a new year coming. And I just remember I had spoken to you and you had told me, you said, you know what? I think you should stay where you are and I don't want you to come over here unless you're really ready. And you said, because I want you to succeed in either business. You know, I, I don't think you're going to be able to <laughs> rebuild right where you are because of things, not because of anything you're doing. But you said, you know, but I don't want you to come over here unless you're really ready. So it kind of really stuck with me for a couple of weeks. And I started to think, do I want to have another new year, start another new year and have the same outcome a year from now? You know, and that was really what it was. And that's when, you know, I contacted you back. I think it was just after the new year. And you told me, you said, you need to be over here because we just cr like crushed every record. And, you know, I know I told you to stay, but, it, you know, all your leaders are coming and you can either be in their organization or they could be in yours. And that's when I said, I just can't miss this. And I want to learn more from the school. And I was like, I, I, I just have to do it. So that's when I jumped. Um, and when I you know, went all in with it, but a lot of people, they're giving up a lot more than I was. I mean, like I said, I had to go back to work. So I did have a job at that point um, to where I was able to make that transition and not really suffer financially. But what do you say to that person then who is still okay in their income, but sees it diminishing and, you know, they're thinking they have to make a move and they have to make a change, but they're just so afraid that their finances are going to suffer so much and that they might not be able to rebuild again because maybe they're following their people. They're afraid their people aren't going to follow them. Right. So what do you say to someone who is afraid that maybe I could leave, but I don't think anybody would come with me and it would take way too much effort and time for me to do this, to recover and, and build it up to where I am right now for that, to have the same financial income. Okay. So the one, you may not like my answer on this one, um, <laughs> but I'm so transparent. Right? Yes. I really am. You know, when you're going to leave a company and go to another company, you have to come to a place where you go, if nobody else followed me, could I still go and build a successful organization? Mm -hmm. And if it's a no, then don't leave. If it's a yes, then definitely it's time to go because numbers don't lie. If it continues to diminish more and more, and you know that you've put in the work, you know that you've recreated yourself, you know that and when you've sat down with your coaches and they've, they've told you what to do and what not to do, and you've done all of that. In other words, you were coachable. Yeah. I you were everything. coachable. You did everything they told you to do because sometimes people don't listen. Mm -hmm. Right. It happens. Some, I mean, I've had, I've had recently, I've had somebody that um, I poured into and poured into and poured into, but there were two areas of his and her life and they, and the way they'd been, they were building and they wouldn't listen to me. And I told them it was going to destroy their business if they didn't change and they refused to do it until, and exactly they ended up sabotaging their own business and they ended up leaving. Right. And so that happens. So if you have sat down with your coach and they have given you this all about, this is what you need to do. And it's not the same old, same old stuff. Well, just recruit more. Well, just call more. Well, just make, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking right. about real solid coaching that will make a difference. Critical things. Um, then it's time to go because the numbers won't lie. But in the end, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can do this regardless. Like I know for a fact, if everybody in overcome nation quit, tomorrow on my team, I could wake up in the morning and build the whole team all over again with different people. Mm -hmm. Right. I know that. And so it's, an, and, and if I didn't know that who would follow me because people follow strength. So normally it's what's going on internally in that person. Yeah. Right. If you don't have the confidence to think, maybe you thought you got lucky in the last company. Maybe mm -hmm. you thought somebody did you a couple of favors and that's how you, you got it. Right. Mm -hmm. So you have to deal with that. But if you know that you built this thing brick upon brick and you know that you have the ability to make new friends, especially on Facebook and you have the entire world in your phone and you know that you have the work ethic and the skill set to do that, then you should be able to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. 
and be able to provide an income for yourself. But most of the time, it really deals with what's going on internally. <coughs> Excuse me. But when, the, but when there are things that are happening outside of your control, like a company making decisions that are working against you and your team and your ability to build a large organization, mm -hmm. then you have to go, right? Because that, those are things that are outside of your control. If your company is operating as a 10 in everything, then all you have to do is become a 10. <coughs> Excuse me, that you can control. Mm -hmm. But if you're operating at, at a 10 and your company is making bad decisions and they're operating at a five, there's nothing you can do about that. <clears throat> you have to go, yeah. right? Because they're not, they're a poorly run company will not help you. You need mm -hmm. a very efficient, strong company, right? That you can depend on a, a, a fulfillment center that will give you everything that you need. Once you have that, everything else is within your control. Mm-hmm. Right. But if yeah. you don't have that, then you got to go. Yeah. <clears throat> I hope that helps. Oh, that, that definitely helped because yeah. that was my outlook. I thought, well, you know what? I know I'm not going to be doing it alone this time because I, I remember I signed two people up and you sent me a message and you said, I already talked to your two people. I'm working with your team. And I thought, oh my God, I'm not doing this by myself. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and, um, you know, and I had a major leadership in my previous company. It wasn't, I'm, I don't need, um, mot I don't need to be motivated. I don't need any of that. I'm more like, if you tell me what I need to do, I'm going to do whatever you say, because if someone who has been successful in this is teaching me and showing me everything, why wouldn't I listen to everything? And I know that there are going to be changes in, about myself that I'm going to have to make. I never had approached <clears throat> business owners and been able to get them on board and, and do all of that. It was intimidating to me, you know, even though I was a professional. Um, and I also think that because I always was fighting kind of a stigma about my previous company because it had been around for so long, I think people kind of already had their ideas formed about it, you know, and it was a little more difficult rather than, you know, talking about a newer company that people had never heard of and now they're they're going to listen and you have that financial education that you're bringing to the table as well and you have this business school that no one else has that you can leverage and you see that the entire downline is in the school and it's not just you and your personally sponsored people you know and you're all in these different kind of um groups and huts and you're kind of put it put out you know, on your own to do it, which I do believe everybody is their own CEO. But I think when you're talking about what we're doing and, and what people expect out of this when they first sign up, I think you have to have a, a complete development program like what we have. I mean, we don't just focus on, um, you know, <clears throat> financial education. Like I said, we, we focus on, you focus on building us from the inside out, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. You know, and now with this whole time strength thing, because, you know, people need to understand this is a process and it is consistency and you have to wait it out, you know, to kind of see as long as you're being consistent, you have to see, you know, the fruits of your labor. Um, but you have to stick around for that. Uh, so I think when I made my decision, um, I looked into the company and I know that we do operate as a 10 in Viseo. Um in that our CEO, Dallin Larson, has built two other billion-dollar companies prior to this one. So the leadership is there. We were already in 12 countries within the first year. Um, and the numbers don't lie either. You know, we did $49 million in our first year. And I don't know what we are right now, but we're probably close to $100 million in sales. Um, I don't know the exact number. but And we're constantly coming out with new disruptive products. But what really stuck out to me was that all the leaders from the previous company that had been with Dallin in Monavi, all of them came back. So to me, that showed me that they trusted the leadership and that that leader was going to be, you know, <clears throat> in favor of the distributor. Right. And they trusted that. So can you expand on, on that and why going into the new year, even this company is the place to really be? Well, yeah. I mean, there are products that are coming out in January <laughs> and in June that if I was to ever make a list of 
10 products that I think are absolutely complete disruptors in the traditional business set setting in those categories and network marketing, all of that. And if I narrowed it down to like three or four of like the freaking, it would be a dream to have these. Mm-hmm. Those are the ones that were ha- that are coming out. And mm-hmm. I'm absolutely, I've never been more excited ever in my career about products because I think network marketing, it's the greatest method of wealth creation in the world. I say that all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I will say that network marketing tends to be very uh, um, just, how do I say it, stagnant in terms of some people just think, ah, that's not really relative. It's just the basics, right? Vitamins, this, and lotions, potions, and notions or whatever. But we have we have a handful of products that are coming out in 2019 that are so outside of the norm in network marketing. Mm-hmm that we're going to be we're going to be able to get all the people that we've never been able to get before Mm -hmm. because these products are and they're multi-billion dollar categories we'll end up having more customers than we ever had before we're going to have more leaders than we ever had before like we're going to no company you watch no company i believe with all of my heart no company in 2019 will surge like the sale will Mm -hmm. because of these products like i wouldn't even i would have wanted these products but i never would have thought that our company would have the guts (laughs) to step into those categories and they and they did and i am over the moon excited about i would not want to be the competition of overcome nation and viseo in 2019 and that right there is more than enough Mm-hmm. Right. Everyone's going to want samples. Everyone's going to want to be a customer. Everyone's going to, I mean, not everybody wants to build a business, but they're going to find it very easy to go that I can build a business on those products. I can clearly <laughs> build a business on. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it's really going to change our culture too. And I'm really excited about that too. It'll make our culture even more fun, more exciting. And uh, a lot of people that would never be caught dead in network marketing are going to be like, sign me up, I'm in. I believe that with my whole heart. And I know what's relative out there. I study trends. I study disruptive markets. And uh, one of the products is Forbes said is about is about to become a twenty billion dollar a year industry, and we are going to carve out such a huge piece of that because because the product in that category that we're coming out with nobody will be able to do nobody has this we'll be the only one with that ability with that particular product it's going to be staggering I can't wait yeah I mean and a lot of times people will say. You know, in our industry, especially the terms get thrown around, oh, this amazing leadership and, you know, nobody has this product. We have this product, you know, it's better than anything else out there. And those are all terms and and the leadership and all of that and the compensation plan. It's better than anything else. So those are all things that people people say that and um, it might not always be true. So what do you think you should actually look for if you are considering a network marketing company? And if you are that person who can't really determine what's hype, what's real and what's not, what is the real deal? I know we're the real deal, but how do you determine that from, you know, an objective standpoint? You listen to the language of the person that's teaching you, you know, we teach on real the framework of the way overcome nation teaches is rooted in real business principles mm-hmm. and i and you won't hear one person in network marketing even use what i just said as an example because they don't get it they don't understand yeah right so we build on real business principles mm-hmm. right we talk about the difference between good income, bad income, leveraging systems, um, exponential uh, growth. People really understand the power of the system, leveraging a fulfillment center. We get into the nooks and crannies of the framework that cause Fortune 500 companies to accelerate, where 
98% that are out there don't think that's necessary. And that's where I, I completely disagree. My philosophy is different than anyone I have ever talked to in this entire industry. And I've been in it for 14 years. I've ran with some of the best, mm-hmm. right? And I learned from the two highest paid network marketers in the history of network marketing. Mm-hmm. And I will tell you that nobody teaches financial education or builds the way we build. No one. And mm-hmm. that's our advantage. And we're going to continue to win, mm-hmm. continue to win. Right. Because, because financial education is the mentor, not a personality, not me. Right. The mentor is the, is the education, the well-rounded education, building the person, the person builds the business, making sure that they're, they get, they're gaining more than what they are paying for. Mm-hmm. Right. And so um, that alone sets us apart. Yeah. Well, I mean, and <clears throat> now we've talked about all of the company and, and Dallin, but um, I want to talk a little bit about you for the last to wrap this up. Um, you know, you don't just have a background in network marketing. So you have been in, you made millions prior to that. You started out as a small business owner, you know, at 17, and then you got into real estate in the diamonds and gemstones industry and you made millions there. And um, then you stepped into network marketing, right? So I think that I could not have, and my team could not have partnered with a better situation because not only are you teaching us how to be successful in this industry, but it goes beyond that. You know, your education is then teaching us, all right, now that we are successful and we've made money here, what do we do with that money? You know, and how do we invest in more cash flowing assets? It's a whole system of um, growth and education that you really pour into us and you want us to succeed in life. You know, after that, it's not just about building a business and doing well in network marketing and, and then that's it. You know, you really want us to succeed beyond that. And that's what I think is just so different. Um, so for those six and seven figures out there, earners <clears throat> there you know, who um, they are struggling right now. Um, and you've done this again and again. You know, you've proven that you've done it again and again with different companies and you were even part owner of a company as well. So you've been on the other side and you've been on the corporate side. And that always makes me feel better knowing that too, because, you know, you know, if something's going to be a good thing for us or a bad thing for us overall. And um, that made me feel very good. So for those people out there who, you know, have either never done this before or, you know, have are currently in other companies, but are wondering, you know, how do I separate the hype and how do I, you know, you really have to look into what we're doing here with you. And, um, you know, what do you say for those people who are thinking, well, can I do it again? (laughs) And, you know, what's the first thing you're going to tell them? Well, I mean, it's similar to the question that you asked before, you know, um, it's, it's, do you want to learn a skill set and be a career professional in this industry? Right. I think it really boils down to that. I teach career professionals. I right. teach people to desire to become a career professional. I don't teach people that um, just want to dabble or treat it as a hobby. Right. The principles that I teach are are the principles of seriousness. Yes. Right. Do you want to make a million? Because I can teach you how to make a million. Uh, do you want to build a business that, you know, crosses state lines and crosses uh, country lines and goes into the deep water markets? Um, if you want to do that, you have to run it like a business and you have to un- have the understanding of a big business and you have to go through the rigors of that. Mm-hmm. Right. And so what I say to those people is, are you attracted to network marketing? If you have been six or seven, you must. If you've been a six or seven figure earner, you must be attracted to it. But it's easy to build a six, believe it or not, it's actually easy to build a six figure a year income short term, even a seven figure in many, many situations short term. It's extremely difficult to hold seven figures for long periods of time. 
Mm-hmm. And that's where our education becomes rock solid. Right. Because it's holding on to the networks and getting new new networks and teaching those that are in your business to become career professionals. And they have a long-term mindset, not a short-term mindset. Right. 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 The language that they're hearing in Overcome Nation on a daily basis, it, it, it reeks of professionalism. Mm-hmm. It, the messaging is is to be here for the long haul and you cannot build on hype. We avoid all of that. I speak against that. Mm-hmm. That's why when you were coming in to getting involved in Overcome Nation, I said, look, I don't want you to be here until you know that you need to be here. Mm-hmm. Right. And then I called you out. I was like, look, you really do need to be here, but you need to really make a solid decision. You can't dance with both parties. Yeah. Right. And then, and because, because, and if you were still double-minded, it would never work for you. Yeah. See, this is where people fail. Even once they're in, they start looking at what other people are doing. They start visiting other people's pages and they start getting pulled in. And then, you know, what does the scripture say? A double-minded man will receive what? Nothing. Mm -hmm. A house divided cannot stand. You cannot be double-minded. When people come to me about other companies or anything like that like i i don't look at what other what my competition is doing mm-hmm. i'm aware of what's happening because i hear it because mm-hmm. there's no secrets in network marketing but i don't look about what look at what other people are doing and dig into it and look into their comp plan and do all i don't do that yeah i study my skill set right mm-hmm. it's like um people that study counterfeit dollars they're not looking at all the other dollars around and all the different counterfeits money. They study the dollar, our currency, all day, every day. So they've got they they look they know exactly what ours looks like so much that if they see anything off, they can see that it's counterfeit. I run my business like that. Yeah. I teach my business like that. Yeah. Right? Don't look at the left or the right because I don't, I need you. This is a very serious business where you can make some serious, serious money, millions and millions and millions. It deserves laser focus. And yeah. those that have the greatest laser focus are those that build the largest organizations. Those that are constantly going, I wonder if I should be here. I wonder if that's better. Or oh, but they have this here. Oh, but what if this? No, no, no. I don't, I don't let this get infected. And I've done that in every area of my life, right? Mm-hmm. Good information in brings good information out. You get trash in, trash out. Noise in, noise out. It dilutes your ability to stay focused and stay committed on one thing, Yeah. right? It's like a man or a woman. If you're out checking out all the other women or checking out all the other men and you're seeing mm-hmm. what else is out there, you'll never be committed in your marriage, Yeah. right? You, I just every, had that conversation with Matt the other day. I said, you know, because he's asking me if I heard this and I heard that. And I said, Matt, I said, no, <laughs> I said, I'm not. I said, I'm working. You know what I mean? I haven't mm-hmm. heard what. And I said, you know what? If someone decides to ever leave my organization, I look at it like I must not be a very good leader then. And, and do I really want someone who's looking all around and not focusing on their own yeah. business, you know, in my organization anyway, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I think it does come back to I, I've just always been able to block a lot of stuff out and then just go forward, um, you know, because I think it comes from sports. Um, you have to learn how to do that. You know, at, like, when you have so much going on around you, you're not going to be successful if, unless you learn to block it out and you get that emotional muscle. That's right. you, know, you really work on building that with us. So the last thing is we have our mastermind in two weeks. Uh, less than two weeks, I think. Yeah. Um, and this is the other thing that I want my my network to know is that this mastermind you're going to be doing like three times a year. And the first one you did back in May. And after that, we, our team crushed every, every record, you know, because it was two solid days of education, you and Frank Sosnick getting up on the board, whiteboard, teaching us, you know, and um, all day, and everybody stayed until like midnight, both nights. Um, so, and I can, and I can say for myself that I learned more in those two days than I had in four years. And I went to every event. I went to everything outside of my company to learn social media, to learn everything, you know, and those two days 
you know, taught me more about what was actually going to move my business forward than <laughs> any of that. So for the people out there who may be considering coming, I think that this is an excellent time for you to get on board because you can be trained pretty much immediately in that weekend with what you're going to provide. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And, um, it's really, I mean, it's day and night. I know. Right. It's not like, let's get there and have a party. Like people are getting millions of dollars in information in two and a half days. Mm -hmm. And it's very intense, deep training in depth. Mm -hmm. Right. We have six strength strengths that we teach. I have a seventh technical strength that I'm going to be teaching as well. That's going to help people. You mm -hmm. need technical strength in this day and age to working with Facebook and having a good understanding of the way things work and building online. Mm -hmm. Building online has been very good to us, Overcome Nation. 80% of our enrollments are coming in online. It's worth teaching how, um, uh, how it all works on social media. So there's a technical strength that needs to be understood. You're doing interviews all the time. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the reason why I feel the pressure or the heat of really, really teaching people uh, the best way that I know how in the mastermind is that 2019 with these products are going to bring in so many people. You need the you need mentorship. You need leaders in the midst of that to support the volume, right? Yeah. Because many times when vol a company will drop amazing products into the downlines or into the company, the volume it really grows and people get great checks. But if they but if there isn't leadership, it'll contract and go right back to where it was. Mm -hmm. But when leadership is established in that volume, then it stays. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> and so um, 2019 is critical. I feel a tremendous amount of responsibility for my team because I want them to be able to step from 2019 to 2020 because something happens in the fourth year in in uh in the beginning of a fourth year that doesn't happen in any of the other years and and mm -hmm. we're literally springboarding from 2019 to 2020 i'm more excited about 2020 than anything because that's when you start getting all of the seven figure earners that have been watching us mm -hmm. and i need my leaders to be able to know how to really really understand what is goes on in the mind of the seven figure earner and fourth year is going to 220 is going to be off the charts for us, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 2019, we're going to get a tremendous amount of, vol of momentum and, and everyone's going to hear about us and what we're doing. 2020 is when we're going to start gathering up many, many seven figure earners that, that were looking at us as a startup. And now they're like, okay, this company's here to stay and mm -hmm. look at what they're doing. And they're going to bring their whole teams over you'll see i want to make sure that every single person on my team knows how to speak and engage with them and know exactly what to say that so these people feel like they're following strength not rah rah mm -hmm. right so the mastermind is going to be able to deliver that's why and then i already have april for our next one already booked out we're going to be announcing when we're there so i'm not messing around yeah. 2019 is going to be very critical for development for my leaders. And I want to make sure that all of you guys are, are equipped. So if you're on the fence and you're thinking about going, I'm just telling you, you don't want to, you don't want to see all this volume coming your way and not have the tools or the mindset to handle it. Yeah. This mastermind is for that. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what people have to do to get there. If you have to put it on a credit card or what have you do, whatever you need to do, you can't afford not to do this. It really is that critical, right? Because you're not going to know how to handle it as well as your competition mm -hmm. is going to be able to handle it, right? You should be the yeah. best that you possibly be. You want to have as many doors as possible to your organization between now and the time we they drop those mm -hmm. products into our lab. Yeah, definitely. So well, thank, that you. Helps. thank yes. you so much for this today and happy anniversary again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Well, have a wonderful day. I'll see you in a couple weeks. All right. Okay. Take care. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.